All right, welcome back to Plane Mechanic Simulator. We are outside, there are planes flying around, and we're here to fix some more stuff for our good friend, George Martell. He says, the right engine on the last mission, let off blue smoke. Okay. Uh, I would also like you to arm the gun. I do not want it to be useless after the last flight. That plane was extremely loud, I must turn this down. Uh, okay, so we've got to fix the problem with the white smoke. Uh, is the white is the smoke blue or white? Let's be honest here. Uh, it's blue smoke. It's white smoke. I need to know this. How am I gonna diagnose it if I don't know what color the smoke is? Ah, I tell ya. Refit the wing gun and replace all gun port patches. Okay, let's fix the engine first. The right engine. It's blue smoke or white smoke. We don't know. No one knows. We're gonna do the engine first because. No sir. Oh please, I just I'm really just gonna click on it. <laughs> onto it. That's all. Uh, smoke tells me, uh, I'm gonna guess exhaust. I don't know. Exhaust? That's my guess. I don't know. Uh, I should probably just uninstall. We should, we should, we should just take off some of these panels. Let's be honest. Let's take off some of the panels. Come on. Yep. Yep. I bet the problem is right in here. No, I'll bet you anything. Right behind one of these covers. But smoke, usually, like what I'm thinking. It actually kind of would be helpful enough if it was blue smoke or white smoke, too. Because, like, blue smoke usually is, like, oil, I would think. Kind of has that weird blue smell. It smells... Uh, blue... Not smell. Blue uh, smoke, but it does smell very bad. Um, so, I don't know. I guess if we're burning oil, actually, that could be even worse. It could be, like, pistons. <laughs> Which could be a significant teardown. Oh, I'm hoping maybe exhaust pipe. Maybe? I don't even know if that makes sense, really. Probably not. Probably not. Maybe? Possibly? I definitely don't think it's ignition. That seems unlikely. And now I'm starting to freak out that it's probably just like a full-blown cylinder. Because, yeah, I mean, like, especially the inside of the cylinder, potentially you would be burning oil on the inside of the cylinder. But so far, we're doing okay. Okay, cam followers. I kind of wish that there was more you could do to try to diagnose things in this game. Like, Car Mechanic Simulator is cool because, like, you don't just have to point around and try to, like, examine things like this. Like, you can put it on the test track and, like, you can do other things to, like, look and see what's bad or good or whatever. And, uh, yeah... There's, like, all the tools you can hook up to it, like a compression tester, like an electrical tester. I'm like, yeah, that's that's what I need. Because I end up just doing this every time there's something wrong with the engine. Because it's like, ah, there's something, you know, it's burning oil. Or it's burning, well, we don't know what's burning. And uh, then I just, like, figure it out. So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And nothing is, like, obviously broken enough that you can just like see it really easily like in Karma King Center you can be like oh yeah like that brake rotor looks terrible that's going to be a problem the second you get the car up which is sort of realistic maybe but in this it's like they like barely barely look different oh, please something I really don't want to tear down a cylinder I mean, actually, I don't have any problem with tearing down a cylinder. I have a problem with tearing down random no, cylinders sir. because I don't know which cylinder is the issue. No, let's, take our, let's take our cowl off. Is that does that help us? Does that does anything happen now? Rocker arms, rocker boxes, rocker box, rocker box. That's weird, weird, weird thing. Uh, rocker box. Okay. Um, I really don't think it's electrical. If it's electrical, I'd be actually kind of upset because I don't know how that would really contribute. I don't know how that would cause smoke, unless you're like misfiring so bad that you're. Nah, I don't know. It doesn't really make sense. What else do I even have at this point? Bearing, crankshaft, this thing. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm completely. This is gonna be a cylinder. This is gonna be a cylinder. Piston rod, oh, that's kinda of cool. Ooh, that could help me. I mean, no. at least no. like, okay, chill out, just chill out, just chill out no. for a second. No, no. Oh, that's problematic. No, sir. Okay, <laughs> no, that's sir. I can, I can like hold it and make it red. Well, at least I can look at the piston rods through here 
What is this? Cam follower bolt case? So I can do a little bit of inspecting here. Like, if I found a piston rod, then it's like, okay, well, at least I've got something. I know where to start. I mean, it's cool that I can at least, like, kind of inspect stuff without going all the way in, but the problem is I think it's going to be a cylinder head. And the big problem is piston cap? What was that? Piston cap? Ooh, ooh, piston cap. Yes, that would probably be the thing I think. It's nice I can see a little bit through here. I don't know how realistic this is, but uh, I'm happy I can do it. Because, I, I mean, there's a lot of... I don't know if you noticed, but, like, there's a lot of cylinders here. And uh, I don't really trust my odds if I just start guessing. But so far, I've got a few piston caps inspected along the bottom. And they're all fine. Okay, so well, I just I just found this valve, right? But the reason I found that valve is because first I started taking things apart because I was like, okay, I'm just going to remove this center ring. And so to do that, I had to do all like the cam follower rods or whatever, which meant I had to take off the valve so I could take off the rocker box. And then I realized in my inventory, I had a damaged valve. I had one damaged valve. And now I just found a second one. The problem is I don't know where the first one was. I think maybe it was here on this one. So we're going to try to take this apart, I guess. Nope. No. Except we're not, because... Oh, wait, not this one, because that one isn't taken apart. But this no, one, sir. maybe. No. We're going to we're gonna tr tr try to take it apart, I think. Let's try it. No. Nope. Let's try it, except it's not going to let me yet. But, like, oh, I hope it's this one. Man, I wish it, like, told you when it came off no. what, what condition it was in. Like, there's so many things from Car Mechanic Sim Simulator that are so good that should be in this game. Like, when no. you disassemble stuff no, in Car Mechanic sir. Simulator... It gives you a little percentage, so you know what kind of condition it was in when you took it off, which is really great. And here I kind of lost track, and I found a bad valve without realizing it was bad until I took it off. So that's that's that. Well, let's see. Hopefully no. it's this one, maybe. And maybe there's just a couple. No. 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 Not yet. Nope. What else? No. Oh, yeah. Cool. Spark plugs out. Got it. No. Those cute little spark plugs. All right, give me a damaged cylinder or something. But I thought maybe, well, maybe it's not more than the, okay. So that's all there is to it because I was able to actually inspect a few cylinder caps. Maybe it's just a couple valves. The idea of a valve creating smoke, um, you know, maybe, I don't know. I, I don't know if that's what I... I don't know. That seems weird. And, like, how does a valve just go bad? I don't know. I'm not sure about that one. Like, I guess it creates smoke because the maybe, the maybe, like, the fuel is entering at the wrong... You know, it's entering when it's not supposed to be, and so then you're getting a lot of fuel being burned or not being completely burned during compression stroke and ignition stroke, and then... I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's weird. I don't know. I don't know about that game. We'll see. Maybe it's more than valves, but this one at least. The cylinder is fine. Just wonderful. Just wonderful. Okay, well, um, we've got a valve somewhere there, though. So let's, I guess... Oh, jeez, the camera. Why are you like this? Uh, let me just make sure I've looked at all the valves. I think I have at this point. Oh, no, there's some. There's some I haven't looked at. Come on. Give me a red one. I figure the more easy things like this that are that are bad, the better chance I have at it just being valves that are bad, so I'd be cool with that. Um, okay, we have looked at all the others. So, let's replace this one, and then let's install another one. No, no, okay. yep, no. Yep, yep, got it, thanks. And then let's install another one. And C it is not repairable. So let's. Whoa. Oh my gosh, I've been staring at that engine for so long. Uh, okay. Can that be the only thing that we need, please? It would be so, so, so nope. helpful. No, nope, let's be more careful about where we jump nope. in. They love to nope me, and I'm not even doing anything. Okay. There's one. I'm going to start putting this stuff back together, and I hope I don't regret it. Really, 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 actually super, really hope I don't regret it. Um, okay, can I... 
what do I... Okay, we gotta put these in first. That makes sense. Eh. Camera. Camera, you're so bad. Yep. Yep. I really wish I knew where this other one came from. That would have been very helpful. But if it's this, and that's all there is, we'll get a bump to dump. And if we don't, I'll cry. Truthfully, I will sob. You don't want to hear it. You really don't want to hear it. Be this one. Be done. That's it? Dump to dump? No? Okay. Man. I looked at a few of the valves like I inspected them, but then I was like, no, that doesn't make sense. That wouldn't cause smoke. And now I have so many regrets for not being more careful. Oh, thank you. Oh, I was like already, I was just basically like, yep, this is not going to work out for me. Like this is going to be really bad. So it was a valve on the top cylinder and then a valve on the bottom cylinder. So if I had just done a better job going around and inspecting all the cylinders and inspecting those valves, I could have saved myself some time because really that's not hard to do. I just um, didn't didn't do a good enough in job uh, job inspecting. So there you go. Do, do your inspections, kids. We'll save lives and time. Yikes. Okay. Whoa! What is the, the flickering and the flashing? What is that? Looks so weird. Okay, are we good? Yeah? Wow. Okay. Uh, let's put this back on. Yeah, maybe. There it is. Yep. Uh, yep. Love it. Awesome. There you go. Okay. Keep putting this back together. Yep, yep, yep. Wonderful, wonderful. Put our panels back on. Happy, happy. And then we get to do the fun thing, which is doing the actual machine guns. Like, I always tried to get this just, like, the bad job out of the way. It'd be fine if they just wanted me to do guns and I didn't have to do yet another engine repair that I'm terrible at. and terrible at troubleshooting. But they always make me do it. It's like there's always an engine repair with every job. And I always struggle with it every single time. Good? Alright, I'm saying that's good. I mean, it's checked off. Refit the wing gun. Replace all gun port patches. Gun port patches. That would be this. This is a gun port patch. Tape new. Uh, nope. Oh, I guess I have to buy a new one, I guess, right? I think that's the only gun port patch. Because there's only one gun on this. Let's just check. Hello? Tape new? <laughs> okay. Replace my tape new with tape new? I don't really know how this works. But I'm pretty sure that's all I need to do. <laughs> that's all I need to do is tape new. Okay, here we go. Yep. Tape new. Look at that. It doesn't have a hole in it now. It's super interesting. Uh, all right. Patches are good. And then the other part is refit the wing gun. Refit the wing gun. Uh, I know the wing gun is in here. In the secret compartment. Which you can barely see the highlighted screws for refit the wing gun i actually think this is going no. to be as easy no. as putting this no in no nope. let's just you know we're just gonna refit it here let me let me take you out i'm actually just gonna look and make sure it's fine i guess it's probably fine oh damaged ammo box damaged oh cool okay i didn't expect there to be damage necessarily refit the wing gun to me does not sound like repair the damaged ammo box but we're doing it. Here we go. Let me just check this. I miss when I could sign my name in this game. That was always fun. That's kind of cute. All right. Okay. Up we go. Up we go. Up we go. Up we go. There we go. All right. If you say it enough, it'll happen. Okay. Ammo sleeve. Our new fixed ammo box and ammo belt. That's why I couldn't pull the ammo in. Boom. That's refitted. Refitterized. Good. Noise. Complete. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, the engine was not that hard, but I sure did make it look hard, didn't we? Refit the wing gun. Replace all gun board patches. Perfect job. Yay. 
I am perfect. Getting close to that thousand merit points, sort of. Continue. Repair the damage brakes, refill the oil, improve the stability of the right rotor. What? What? Ah, I wanna know. The right rotor is badly tightened. Take care of this and add some oil. I had a problem with the right brakes. Why does it have to be raining? I was able to set the weather for the first scenario, but I can't set it now and now it's raining. I really wish it wasn't raining. This is so depressing. Okay, let's do this. I know that was that one took a while, but I really, really kind of want to figure out how this worked. Okay. Okay, okay. The right rotor is badly tightened. I don't know what that means. No. But sure. okay, let's do it. Let's tighten it better. You know, I was probably the last no person to sure. tighten it, just so you know. Uh, is this bad? Because it looks... Yeah, I was going to say it. Like, it looks pretty, pretty crummy. All right, so it might be as simple as just replacing that. So I'm guessing everything else is probably okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I like this. I like when things are more obviously damaged. <laughs> That's better, propeller. Replace. Okay, so I'm hoping we just throw this back on and then we're good to go. Uh, hey, I like that. I like when things actually make sense. Yay. I don't know if badly tightened was really the issue. It looked pretty torn up for being badly tightened. Okay, refill the oil. That's easy. Repair the damaged brakes. Uh, okay, let's just do the oil quick. Wait. I said it's easy, and now I'm like, wait, I can't remember where the oil's at on this. Oh, but oil's so much easier now because I don't have to know anything. I can just do refill the oil, too. Magic! That's so easy compared to how it used to be. It's wild. Okay. Let's refill the oil. Oh, man. Gotta get inside that max and min line. We'll go fast, and then we'll slow it down. Please stop. Hope I'm good. Uh, pull out the hose. That was oil two. Now we'll go to oil one. Refill the oil one. Boop, 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 boop. Magic. Look at that. So weird. But I love how simple it is. Because it used to be you had to go up, unscrew the cap, drag the thing all over. It was very it was very weird, too. That was a little iffy. Now it's so simple. Still got to do this part right, though. Okay. Good job. Pull out the hose. See? Refilling the oil. Refilling the fuel. Like, I'm good at that. Real. I'm, I'm real good at that. Super good. Put the oil pan back. See you later. Okay. All we've got now is to repair the damaged brakes. I had a problem with the right brakes during landing. Okay. Right brakes during landing. Okay. We're going to crouch. Okay. <laughs> we're we're going to crouch, and then I'm going to stop crouching right away. Uh, we are going to take a lift. That's such a weird, weird phrase. Uh, we are going to take a lift. We are going to use a lift. We are going to crouch. We are going to... Uh, up. Yeah, that's cool. All right, right brakes. I really have not gotten to do anything on the wheel, so I'm uh, I'm excited to get to do this finally. The interesting right wheel. I don't really need to do this. I guess I probably just start taking no. some apart. Wow, I've never messed with the wheels on this plane. This is kind of neat. Okay. No. Sir. Okay, okay, no. okay, okay. I'm just trying to get the bolts. No, just trying sir. to get the bolts, not the bolts. No, we're not gonna let me have the bolts. Just trying to get the bolts. Okay, got it. Alright. Release. I will have you now. Goodbye, Axel. Good <laughs> we got a hovering wheel here. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, there's the brake pads. Interesting. What an interesting thing. How do those actuate, I wonder? Okay, so we've just got two bad brake pads. Uh, why'd that go green? Why did that go green? That is so weird. Is it actually green? Weird. It's actually green? Like, I'm... That's weird. What is... That seems like a bug. Okay, but we've got two bad brake pads. Right wheel brake oh oh yeah that's good and then right wheel two right wheel brake pads okay is this farther away oh i'm just crouching oh my gosh i was like what is going on it like made the world feel so big okay <laughs> oh boy all right 
Replace parts. This is nice and easy, though. I like this. See, I want more jobs like this. Like, less less messing with the engine. I, I don't need any more engine stuff. I'm good on engine. Uh, but this, all about this. Yeah, put that back in. Boop. Move that back up. Put my axle back in. Locker back on. Boop, 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 boop. Good. Good. Do this one. Yip, 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 yip. I wonder if I can quit the mission while this thing's up in the air. That wouldn't be very responsible, right? I will lower the lift, please. I will take a lift, please. Oh, jeez. We dropped it. Okay. I think we're good. We did it. We did it. We did it. That was a lot easier. Okay. I'm glad I did it. That was actually really fast. So... Ah, a couple more missions on the Bristol Blenheim in Plane Mechanic Simulator. Uh, we're going to keep working through this. We're going to finish the Bristol Blenheim, and then maybe we'll, we'll switch to a different aircraft at some point. But let me know what you guys are thinking. And uh, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of it, be sure to subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.